I am Nirmal, an operations engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I am going to show you how to search for automated change types when creating automated requests for change in AWS Managed Services. Let's get started. First, log into the AWS Management Console, then navigate to the AMS Console. Now, select the RFCs option from the left menu. Choose Create RFC. We have two options for change type. You can either select Browse Change Types or Select by Category. Here we will use Browse Change Types. Now you can see the search bar under Change Types. Here you can search for Auto CTs by name of service. Under the execution mode, we can find whether the change type is manual or automated. Here, for example, we are going to create a snapshot for an Amazon Elastic Block Store volume. So, we can search EBS and now we can see that we have an auto change type named as create EBS snapshot. Fill the subject of the RFC. The email notifications and description fields are optional. Choose next. Now under the execution configuration, provide the reason. In additional configuration, the SSM doc is selected by default. Under parameters, provide the volume ID. Additional configuration is optional. Choose create. After the RFC is successful, find the snapshot ID under the execution output of the RFC and verify the snapshot has been created. Let's take another example of creating tags on AWS resources. Again, choose create RFC and then select browse change types. Now search the keyword tag. Here you can see a lot of automated CTs related to resource tags. Select create resource tag auto. Enter the RFC subject and choose next. Now under the execution configuration, provide the reason. In additional configuration, the SSM doc is selected by default. Under parameters, provide the resource ARN. Add the tag in the specified format. Choose create. After the RFC is successful, verify the tags on the resource. Now you know how to use automated change type RFCs in AMS. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.